No hesitation on that second clap this time. I'm getting comfortable with it. Coach Colin here, Coach Colin News, what's going on, guys? Now, what I got for you is there was somebody who had a lot to say about Trump. They had the old talking points, even went as far as to call the guy demonic. And this gentleman's name is Destiny. If you don't know about Destiny, he has a YouTube channel. He's a streamer, and he just loves to debate people. He's If you see him online, he's always debating people constantly. Ben Shapiro, Jordan Peterson, anyone you can think of, he's debated them for sure, whether it's about Israel, or it's about Gaza, or it's about Trump, or it's about Biden, or about the border, Whatever you want to debate about, he's willing to debate. Now, he decided to step up against badass Benny Johnson. Now, let me tell you something about badass Benny Johnson. Badass Benny Johnson is not about to allow you to say anything negative about Donald Trump. Benny Johnson is is like Captain America when it comes to YouTubers. He is the YouTuber Captain America. So when he heard what destiny had to say about trump he went in and that's what you guys are about to see right now and then we're going to talk about it afterwards let's get into it start by playing what uh, this is bill maher's show uh from friday night and he had robert de niro on he said this about trump he's such a mean nasty hateful person i i, I never pay, play him as an actor because he's i can't see any good in him nothing Nothing at all, nothing redeemable in him. If he is, he wins the election, he, you won't be on the show anymore. He'll come looking for me. He'll, there'll, <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be things that happen that none of us can imagine. I mean, I, OK, let's start with destiny. I've got to say, when I, when I saw that, I just thought, really? Isn't this liberals falling into the old trap of over demonizing Trump to the extent that actually it just helps him. I think that there is an issue when it comes to covering Trump because it feels like there is an over demonization of Trump, but also Trump is kind of a demon. Like, I think that it's funny because people will look at the left and they'll say that, you know, people are harping too much on Trump's rhetoric or how mean he is towards people on Twitter. But then when you talk to conservatives, it seems like Trump's Twitter behavior is their number one selling point for why they like him so much. Like, yeah, I don't know what he does policy. I don't know what he does with legislation. But, you know, he's got a lot of really good zingers. Like, this is a guy who's known for giving mean nicknames to his debate stage opponents. Um, I, I don't think it's that crazy to say that Trump has some of the most divisive rhetoric and is one of the meanest people that we've seen as, like, a world leader on the world stage, at least insofar as, like, rhetoric and how he addresses people goes. Yeah, but I always say, you see, about this, that there's a lot of hypocrisy about this based around Trump's rhetoric compared to his actions. For example, you know, with Barack Obama... Uh, who obviously didn't tweet incendiary things about people uh, and was the epitome of kind of civilised presidential public office behaviour. Um, but he still deported over three million people. He still ran a terrible drone programme. He still dropped more bombs in one year than any president in modern history. He kept Guantanamo Bay open despite campaigning to shut it, etc. Um, he's, he's the angel, Trump's the devil... And I don't think either is particularly accurate. I don't think I would say that Obama is an angel, but I mean, there's a separate discussion between like, uh, besides the character of a person and the actual policy positions or things they did in office. I think Trump would lose on both counts, but I mean, separate from policy or, you know, effectuality or ineffectuality as a leader, I think that it's pretty undeniable that Trump is kind of a mean spirited guy. And then when you look at how he runs his campaign, when you look at how he runs the country, he's a very self-driven person. Like every single thing that he does is just ultimately to serve his needs or his ends at the end of the day. Whether that means throwing political opponents under the bus, whether that means throwing political allies under the bus, whether that means not helping, you know, Georgia's uh, Senate elections because he's so angry that Raffensperger, you know, wouldn't turn over enough votes for him. And now Georgia has two blue senators. Like, I don't know. Just Trump is a really mean dude. And again, okay. yeah, you can switch over and you can look at the foreign policy position too. But I, I mean, you can talk about Obama's follies, but Trump also abandoned our Kurdish allies in Syria to Turkey. Trump also, uh, you know, inflamed tensions in the Middle East when he recognized, uh, you know, the Jerusalem, moving the embassy over to Jerusalem and the United States' uh, recognition of Israel annexing East Jerusalem and everything. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think Trump wins on any count where he would come off as a nice guy. Okay. I mean, Buddy Johnson, does anyone, does it matter 
whether Trump's a nice guy or not. I think people have baked in now what he is. He's a shoot from the hip, you know, guy that loves to talk. He's, he's pretty narcissistic. OK. Uh, he's pretty bombastic. He's pretty pugilistic. If you read his book, The Art of the Deal, he says, if somebody punches me metaphorically or real, I'll punch them 10 times back. There's nothing new about any of Trump's behaviour. If you have studied his behaviour for the last 40, 50 years, he just happens to be a guy who won the White House and right now is actually looking like he's favourite to win it back. So for all the rhetorical issues around Trump uh, and the supposed meanness, there are tens of millions of Americans who are queuing up to vote for him. Yeah, so let's talk about tens of millions. I particularly take quite a bit of umbrage with the description of Donald Trump as demonic. Uh, I think that is quite shocking as a Christian myself to call somebody demonic like mm -hmm. Donald Trump, who's actually against the 10 million people who have been human smuggled into this country, many of them children. I remember a time not too long ago when people cared about, the left cared about children in cages. Yet now they're calling Donald Trump demonic. He wants to stop these human smuggling by the cartels. Have you ever been down to the border, Destiny? Have you seen the rape trees? Have you seen the little children's toys that are left down there from the human smuggling that is created by Joe Biden, the biggest human smuggler in human history? Do you know the carnage and the horror that is being created by those policies? Let's not even talk about how what Joe Biden has done to the world stage. Donald Trump brought world peace. You're going to talk about Kurds and wars? How about Ukraine? Joe Biden could have stopped that war before it even started. Joe Biden continues that war and continues the funding of that war that is leading to the wholesale slaughter of an entire region. Joe Biden could stop it right now. Joe Biden has brought war around the world. And then let's talk about the fentanyl poisoning America. You want to talk about cruelty. It took Joe Biden 400 days to go to East Palestine in Ohio, a city that was poisoned by our federal government in a chemical explosion much less the chemical explosion that is happening all throughout America with fentanyl slaughtering 100,000 Americans. And the final thing I'll say here, how dare you call Donald Trump demonic when Joe Biden hasn't even said Lakin Riley's name correctly, called her Lincoln Riley when he was forced to. This woman was slaughtered by a criminal alien who was in this country illegally, who was released by Democrats and went on to slaughter a nursing student in Georgia with his bare hands. And Joe Biden apologized to the murderer. How dare you say Joe B that Donald Trump's demonic? Can you defend any of that behavior? Final thing I'll say here is Joe Biden wouldn't acknowledge his own grandchild. Even the New York Times said that is a sick, evil behavior. So if you're looking for demonic behavior, my friend, I got it for you. It's sitting in the White House in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in a diaper right now during nap time. Wow. OK, that's what I call a rebuttal. Uh, let's come to Dave Smith. Before we do, let's play that clip that uh, Benny referenced. This is when Joe Biden, the State of the Union address, did not pronounce Blake and Riley's name properly. It's not about him. It's not about me. I'd be a winner. Not really. I... Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. Now, Dave, the, the issue may, for Biden. If I may. Sorry, Benny. If I may, if I may, just since I brought up the clip, if you don't mind, Piers. Sure. Could I ask Destiny right now? Do you would you like to apologize to Lincoln Riley's family for her murder, since it's open border Democrat policies that you promote on your program? Would you like to apologize to the parents of Lake and Riley for the murder uh, the of her virtue child? virtue signaling is off the charts. I'm not, I didn't kill anybody, so I'm not going to apologize to anybody for somebody getting no, killed. No, but there are uh, policies Unfortunately, there are a lot of people that get killed in the United States for a large variety of reasons. If anybody gets killed, especially based on the background of this guy, he, this guy definitely should have been deported. I don't think anybody disagrees with that. Uh, but hey, listen, if you want the border stuff to be cleared up so much, why don't you tell Republicans to stop turning into a game uh, in the White House or in the um, in Congress and actually approve legislation to get more funding down for the border? Okay. Right now, um, it's Republicans who pulled the plug on that because Trump wants to maintain 
maintain the one little bit of electoral advantage you might have, which is you guys start trying to stir stuff up over the uh, border. And it's funny also how you frame this all like, oh, they, they're trying to stop human smuggling. No, they're not. They're just trying to, to secure the border. Humans are going to be smuggled all over the place, regardless of whether it's into America or not. It's not like Trump actually cares but destiny, about the truth, smuggling. The, the truth, the truth, destiny. Smuggling. What I would say about that is whether you're on the left or right in America, nobody can dispute that the southern border is in complete and utter turmoil. And I'm afraid if you're the president of the United States and you've been there for three years, <clears throat> it's on you, right? He's done nothing to stop it. In fact, he's made it a lot worse. Dave Smith, you've been very patiently waiting. Get stuck in. This is in. the most patient I've ever been in my life. I know. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But get, get stuck in now. Yeah, well, look, I mean, I, I think probably Destiny, even you could admit that it just shows such a tremendous disconnect and a contempt for the voters and and this weird woke progressive value that after getting her name wrong he apologizes in his next interview for calling the guy an illegal and says he should have said undocumented but doesn't say hey so, like can you at least grant that apologizing for calling an insensitive name to the murderer and not apologizing for getting the actual name of the murder victim correct is it's like are you trying to throw the election it's it's almost as if like these woke progress progressive values have taken people to a point where they can't even do what's in their own political interest because you would just think that the vast majority of voters would be like, well, clearly you owe an apology to one of these people and it's not the murderer. Dave, what do you think is going to happen in November? Man, Dave Smith and Benny Johnson agreeing on something. I did not think I would see that a libertarian <laughs> and a hardcore Republican agreeing on something. And of course, only destiny could bring people together like that with his... I don't and yeah, he's an intelligent guy, but I think this take was just wrong. It was silly. It reeked of orange man bad. There was no substance to it. He's just saying it's undeniable it's an undeniable fact that he's a mean guy. Calling him a bit of a demon. I I don't know. I don't see that. I can I can usually see that type of stuff in people. I see a guy who has no problem going at people. When I look at Trump, I see a guy who has no problem you know, getting under people's skin. I see a guy who has no problem saying, listen, I'm going to do something that's very America first. And it's going to seem like I don't like Asian people. It might seem like I don't like these people. It might seem like I don't like Muslim people. And I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm going to keep the country safe. I'm doing what's right for the entire country. I don't think any of this is demonic behavior, you know, and, and uh, you know, if we just go down the list, one thing that I had to point out that Destiny said, the left are the ones who focus on his Twitter uh, antics when he used to be on Twitter. And it's funny that he's even bringing this up because he's no longer on Twitter. That's not, there's no one on the right pointing to what he does on Twitter because everybody who's right leaning knows he's no longer on Twitter and they're mad about it. Well, He's been reinstated since, but he doesn't use it like he used to. He's always on Truth Social. So that's that's something that the left focuses on. They focus on the mean tweets. The right doesn't really focus on the mean tweets because people who are really his supporters, they're at the rallies. They don't care what he's... I shouldn't say they don't care what he's saying on social media, but they're at the rally showing their support. They're listening to full speeches. I listen to full speech. When he does a rally, I'm listening to the whole thing via YouTube. I'm not focused on what he's saying on True Social all that much unless I'm looking for an update on where he's going, what he's doing, what he plans on doing when he's reelected, things like that. So to act like that's the main selling point for people on the right and that they don't know anything about policy is completely wrong because the one thing they want to be able to do on the right when talking to someone on the left is to be able to talk about things he's done in regards to the border, in regards to foreign policy. They want to be able to point these things out because, listen, no matter what you have to say, destiny, destiny is the exception when it comes to someone who's left leaning. But so many people on the left are not interested in having civil discourse. They're not interested on whether or not you know about the policies and what's this thing and what's that thing, what's your take on this? They're not interested in having those conversations. <sighs> and then the fact that he says it's an undeniable fact that he's just a mean dude. Like, I, I, don't, I don't see it quite honestly. 
I don't see a mean guy. And then another thing he said, he said everything he does just serves himself. I disagree completely. I think everything I've seen him do in regards to China, Russia, North Korea, uh, what he's telling to the EU and Europe in terms of, you know, we we're in for too much money. You should be in for just as much. We shouldn't have to pay this. You guys should be paying more. All of these things are not for him. It's for America. And by extension, the American people. How can you say all these things that he's doing throughout the world? You know, like even just talking about Jerusalem, how was that for him? How was him going to the EU and being like, hey, you guys need to pay. Like, we've paid this much to Ukraine. You guys need to pay just as much. We we are going to stop paying so much. You guys should pay more. How is that for him? How is him trying to get Mexico to pay for the wall? How is that for him? None of these things are for him. It's to save money for America. I think that's pretty clear. I don't get it. But I will say this as I'm saying all this about what Destiny said. I don't want to. I don't want to debate destiny. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for all that. I only drink one cup of coffee in the morning and I usually don't even finish it. I'm not ready for the gears that these guys go into when it comes to a debate. <laughs> I'll be straight up. Somebody was like, oh, you should debate this person. I'm like, I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. Now, when they bring up the whole point, of, and maybe I am, maybe I am, never know. We'll see what the channel brings. Punching someone, like the quote from his book, if somebody punches me, I punch him 10 times harder. The thing about that is that sounds mean-spirited. First of all, that's how you're supposed to be as a man. Second of all, when he's president, he then does that for America. That's not a bad thing. I don't see anything demonic. And then, uh, oh, just in terms of East Palestine, if you're wondering why Benny Johnson brought that up, it's because Benny Johnson actually went to East Palestine. He actually took all the profits that his YouTube channel made, obviously paid his employees, but all of the profits that should have been his, he made sure to take that. He put a thousand dollars into each envelope as much as he could, or it was like 500 or thousand, but he was going around to the families that were closest to the whole thing that needed to either have hotels or something done for them. And he was giving out money. And he just went around giving out money for a few days. His channel made no money in that time. He made no money. His family got no money. So that's why he's so passionate about that part when he screams 400 days because he literally was on the ground listening to people's stories about how much they suffered. And the last thing I'll say towards what Destiny said, I've heard this before. I brought it up just on my main channel. You know, Coleman Hughes was talking about, oh, the, the Republicans are playing around with this border bill. It wasn't a border bill. It was a bill that was sending more money to Ukraine than into the border. Ukraine and Israel were getting money. Israel was getting 14 billion. I think Ukraine was getting 60 billion and the, the border was getting 20 billion. And then there was more billions that were going elsewhere in the world as well. And I get it. 20 billion. You can say that's a lot of money. But if you're going to present something as a border bill for border security, there should be nothing about Israel or Ukraine or any other foreign nation inside of that bill. So they didn't cut that bill short because Trump wanted it. They read the bill and they're like, this is not a border bill. You're saying it's going to do all this stuff, but there's other places that are getting finance. Make these separate bills, which I think he did. I think someone did. I'm not 100% not sure, but it just wasn't a border bill. I have to say, if you can't tell by now, I agree with everything that Benny Johnson said, everything that Dave Smith said. And then, you know, that last point of just apologizing to the person who took someone's life rather than the family who lost someone near and dear to them is just wild nancy pelosi was even on tv as well somebody was about to ask her a question and she immediately jumped like oh i don't agree with what he did and they're like what huh and she was like oh he just he called someone an illegal he shouldn't have said that he should have said undocumented or something like that and it's like <laughs> it's true man in in the name of dave said it better but i always say in the name of inclusivity they're so willing to watch other parts of society just erode. 
absolutely wild to see. But let me know what you think about that exchange between Benny Johnson and Destiny a little bit from Dave Smith at the end there. Let me know what you guys think about it. It was on Pierce Morgan's show. It's called How Dare You? Destiny versus Benny Johnson versus Dave Smith face off if you want to look for it on YouTube. And other than that, subscribe like share helps the channel tremendously we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and other than that i'm out